Today we are testing viral Minecraft hacks to see if they actually work in Minecraft. Be sure to like the video, smash that subscribe button, now let's get this video started. Alright guys, the first Minecraft hack we have are these party lights. Thankfully it doesn't look too difficult to make, but hey, these lights do look really good, so I hope this works. All right, there we go. We got the, uh, the face of it. Now we're gonna put these on the back. And obviously we gotta get the nice lamps on it because we, that's where the light's coming from. This guy put a border on his, but I'm gonna use something different. I'm using diamond because it's much more fancy. Now let's work on some of the redstone on the back. <laughs> Okay, I think everything is now set up. We got the redstone and then we got the, uh, the, I guess the screen as you would call it. All right, here we go. Place on the redstone, get rid of it. Oh, it actually kind of works, wow. That is actually really cool. Uh, I kind of messed up my pattern though. It's not exactly the same as it is in the video. That just requires a little bit of tweaking up. But this is in fact a true Minecraft hack. It is not fake. All right, the second hack is a fully functioning electric fence. So if you walk into it, you will get electrocuted and die. So this is gonna be a really cool build. Three blocks apart, two of these. Now we're going fancy guys. We're just trying to make it look nice. We won't fill up the dispenser, we'll just put two in there and then cover it up. Wire hook, we gotta put that on too. All right, we got it all set up. Now we gotta switch the game mode to survival so we can actually test this out. All right, here we go, moment of truth. It does work, it, like it does kind of like zap you I guess, but it's kind of like a warning. It doesn't kill them, it just warns them. So yes, it does work and it does look pretty cool too. So I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. All right guys, this next one's kind of silly and I don't think it actually works, but I'm excited to try it. So if you leash many chickens together, you can use them as a parachute. Now I don't actually know if this works. I'm very curious, so I'm pretty excited to try this one out too. This one's pretty simple. We gotta find a tall mountain. Here we go, this is tall enough. We're just gonna grab a bunch of chicken eggs. We also also need just as many leads as well. So I guess all we gotta do is spawn all the chickens and then tie them to me. Spawn all the chickens, hey hey. Work with me chickens, work with me. I have a good feeling this is not gonna work at all. <laughs> Look what happens when I fly with them. <laughs> they follow me. <laughs> Moment of truth, let's see if this works. I grabbed as many as I can. Jumping off now. Nope, it doesn't work. The leads just break. They all broke. But look at all the chickens fly down. That's pretty funny. It's attack of the chickens. <laughs> well, guys, we found out, unfortunately, that that hack is capped. And I'm a little bummed out, too, because I was really hoping that would work. So this next one is one of those that can really go either way. So apparently, if you put sunflowers directly underneath the carpet, you will be able to walk over it. But then a zombie, when they walk over, will get confused and start spinning around in a circle. And it kind of looks like they're dancing, too, so it's pretty funny. But like I said, this can go either way. I actually really don't know if it could work. So I'm curious. All right, let's get these sunflowers down. I don't know if they have to be placed on every single block, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to, to do it that way. And then now we get our carpet. So it already checks off the first box that I can walk over top of it without falling through. Good thing it's nighttime now. Let's spawn those zombies and see if it works. Oh, oh wow. It, it kind of works. It kind of works. It, it was getting them for a second, then they started chasing me. Hold up, we got it. We got to double check this. Let's put an extra layer down. All right, come at me, zombies. Let's do this. Let's see if this works. Oh, see, see, now it's kind of working. Look at that. It's working. It's working. Yeah, yeah. They're dancing. It looks like they're dancing. Let's go. Go, zombies. Go, zombies. That's how you do it. I have to be standing still for it to be working. See, the moment I start moving, they, they come after me. So that is the requirement. Oh, uh, that one actually decided to kill me. Okay, so I don't know what to grade this one if it's either fact or cap Maybe I was doing it wrong, but it does kind of work. So it's like a 50 50 So this next one should work in theory, but we'll try it out anyway just in case If your hostage animal or mob escape from its fence and you don't have the material to make them follow you Simply use flint and steel and burn them a little. Burn them a little just casually sets them on fire. Yeah, so basically if you set an animal on fire using flint and steel, they're gonna try to get to the nearest water source no matter where it is to put out the flame. So we're gonna start off by fencing in a little area. Maybe like that. Put a gate there and then uh, need some water as well. Okay, we're assuming that the pig has escaped, so we'll spawn him outside the fence. And now, moment of truth, we're gonna light this pig on fire. Yes, pig, that's right, yes. We're gonna set you on fire. If he you know, stops messing around, come on. There we go, there we go. Alright, is he gonna go into the fencing area? Let's see. Nah, this pig's being really stupid. Alright, we'll, we'll try a little bit closer. Let's put a pig right here and set him on fire. Oh, oh, this one did. After he wasn't on fire anymore. 
Yeah, okay. So it does most of the time work. But sometimes it doesn't really work because the pig is stupid and he runs the wrong direction and he completely misses the gate for the fence. So that one is in fact true, but it doesn't work 100% of the time. It's definitely dependent on how far the pig is away from the water and how smart the pig is too. Because these mobs in this game can be pretty dumb. Oh no, this is definitely fake. There's no way this is real. So apparently if you place down some tree sapling and then a bunch of wood on top of it and then use the bone meal, instead of it growing into a tree, it's gonna grow into a tree house. This is 100% fake. I can already tell you before I do this, but like I said, we're gonna try it out anyway. There. All right, we did it exactly like they did in the video. Now let's use the bone meal. Oh yeah. Yep, this doesn't work. This one was super duper obvious. Well, that one was a hard cap for sure. It was definitely some sort of mod that they used to make it work. Okay, this one is claiming that you can pick up bedrock in survival. And I feel like I've seen millions of these online and they never work out. And they're never true. Who knows? Maybe this one actually is a real glitch. Maybe it actually works. They do a good job of making it look legit, but I definitely don't think it is legit. So let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, we place on the bedrock. Then, uh, like in the video, we do the two pistons. And I think they did, uh, what, this one first, and then that one. And they broke this. <laughs> There's no way this works. It's already, uh, like, it's already flawed. They are always lying. No matter what they say or what contraptions they make, you cannot mine bedrock in survival mode. It doesn't work. All right, guys, this next one is pretty cool, and I think it's legit. So apparently you can make a fully functioning swing in Minecraft. So it uses bunnies to hold the ropes together. Poor bunnies, they're trapped down there for the rest of eternity. But hey, that looks pretty cool. It looks like it actually works, so we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so we start with the support. Okay, and then we got this. We can put the power rail down here. And then we also want to get the rope. So we spawn two bunnies. Now you get back down there. No, no, no. You stay down there. They're not staying in their little pits. One eternity later. Okay, getting these rabbits to stay in here can be pretty annoying. So there's a slight flaw with the design. And then we spawn the minecart, and then the strider goes right inside of it. There we go. So it actually kind of works, but I couldn't get the rabbits and the strings added because it created a lot of problems. Like it kept getting in the way of the cart for some reason. Um, and then we'll put these on, the finishing touches, and then we make them invisible. Now let's hop on the swing and ride it for fun though. Hey, yeah. Woo. Hey, this is actually kind of cool. It is like a legit swing in Minecraft. It's so much fun. So yeah, it does work, but like I said before, I couldn't get the rabbits and the strings to work with it. But overall, I really like this one. We're gonna give it a thumbs up. Bees versus the wither. Which will win? So this one's actually kind of funny. You can have bees turn against the wither and attack it. And not only just one bee, you can have a whole army of bees attack the wither at once. Alright, we'll do it far away from everything else. We'll spawn the wither right here. <laughs> Alright, let's spawn the bees. Actually, wait, wait. We gotta make sure they don't escape first. Alright, we'll do it like this. I'll be inside with them. We'll spawn as many bees as we can. I'm gonna crash my game with the amount of bees that I'm spawning right now. No, they're getting out! They're getting out! No! Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't good. Oh my gosh, I spawned too many of them. Well, I mean, they're everywhere. That's fine. They don't have to be inside, I guess. Now let's spawn this wither. Oh, so all the bees are attacking the wither. Let's go. Wow, they're really getting high. Yeah, who's gonna win? Yeah, the bees are losing quite badly. They do some damage, but yeah, the wither's not losing any health. But yes, the video was true. The bees will work together to try to defeat the wither, but they won't succeed. So to use bees as an option to help you fight the wither, it is probably not a good solution. All right, guys, this last one says that you can make a hidden underground bunker that only opens with the water bucket, which is a really cool design, so I want to try it out. The water bucket, you know, activates the observer, which then, uh, uh, you know, activates the pistons to open the door. So we'll build it exactly like they do in the video and see if it works. All right, let's get to building. So we start with the pistons and then the redstone activates them. There. Um, okay, we got the contraption set up. All right, moment of truth, guys. Let's see if this works. This is the block I have to place the water in and... It does work. It does work. So putting in the water opens the door and then taking the water out closes the door. That's really cool. So that's another one that is 100% true and I'm also going to give it a thumbs up. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and then comment down below what you thought was the coolest hack, whether it was real or fake. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.